So, John Roberts, waver and abate boats. Uh, we've got the Atom here, which is the middle in the range of three. Yeah. Um, I know there's a lot of features on this boat which feature also on the wave runner and on the shuttle. Um, just take me through a few of those, John. Yeah, it uh, uses uh, electromagnetic hoppers. Again, so the hopper when it drops is, is very easy to set. Once it's dropped, you just pop that back up. There's no catches involved or anything like that. It uses uh, propellers. It's got two nice weed guards here to keep uh, the weed from getting trapped in there. Um, lights at the rear and at the front. It's got nice big headlight for when you're bringing the, uh, the bolt back. They can be turned on and off by the handset as well. So I, I, you can use it at night as well? Yeah, use it at night and it, it's really visible at long ranges. And the LEDs on the back, they yeah. give you a sense of, of where it's going when yeah, you send yeah, it Yeah, you can determine which direction it's going forwards and backwards with the colours uh, uh, on the back and at the front as well. Right, brilliant. Now, show me this uh, ingenious hook release system. Yeah, this hook release system is on, on all of the bolts in the uh, Wave Runner range. It's this little pin here, basically, and what you, what you do is your hook just pops in the, and with the weight of the lead hanging behind at the bottom there, once you, once you release the, the hook mechanism, that will actually fall away from the actual bolt itself, so you can drop the hook bay independent to where you drop the, the load from the hopper. And it's, it's really easy to operate? Yeah, if you push that left hand joystick literally left, just yeah, one notch that left, falls away, and, away it goes. and it just falls down to the, to the, to the bottom. And equally as simple, the hopper itself, that's just one pop yeah, to the right. Yeah, you just push that right and that, and dro that drops. drops the hopper, yeah. Brilliant. So you can actually, you send your hook bait and your bait out independently, or, yeah. you know, there's a, there's a tactic that everybody seems yeah. to, to latch onto these days. Drop your bait in a nice pile, yeah. everyone thinks that the bigger fish sit off yeah. the bait slightly. So actually, that's you can bring this back a yard or two and drop your hook bait down. Yeah, that's, that's the general idea with it. Um, it's got two and a half hours battery life to it, so, uh, depending upon obviously whether the lights are on and how much bait you're using, you know, it's got a really good, uh, you know, really good uh, battery. So more of the features you use, obviously a little bit more yeah, power. You yeah. Use. Just coming back to the handset, sorry, yeah. just very briefly. It's so easy to use. It might yeah. just look a little bit complicated yeah. to some people, but as you've just seen, hopper to the right. Yeah. Your hook bait latch to the left. Yeah. And then this one, literally. Yeah. Forwards. Yeah. Backwards. That's right. Yeah. Steering. You turn. You can turn the lights off by the handset as well. You know. And what you, what you always got to remember is turn the handset on before the bolt. Um, and that's all you need to remember. There's some little notches in the, in the middle of, of the, all the handsets you'll see here. And they're the little uh, trims. They're there to be kept central at all times. And you've got a, a motor trim rear, which will you know, allow you to, to put more power to one of the motors. Right. Uh, if you're getting any sort of crosswind or things like that. But as long as they're set relatively you know, central, you, you, won't, uh, you won't have any problems at Excellent. all. Excellent. Now, tell me about this thing where you can't lose this boat boat, can you? Yeah, it's got a, a fail-safe mechanism, so if you ever got, uh, you, you're fishing anywhere with bad reception or uh, the boat was to go out of range, basically what would happen is it would cut one of the motors off and then the boat would turn into a circle, allowing you to pick the signal back up again. Like again, these are the, that's standard on, on all of our bait boats. So the Atom in the middle, the, the big lad, which is yeah, the, the Wave Runner, runner and yeah. then the, the, the more compact boat, the Shuttle, yeah, the they shuttle. all have that fail-safe feature. Do, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Now, as we've said, this is the medium range, uh, medium sized boat mm -hmm. at least. Extremely versatile for UK and abroad, small yeah. waters, larger yeah. waters. It's, uh, it's kind of all things to all people in terms of yeah. boat, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Brilliant. Okay, John, so the Wave Runner Atom, the middle sized boat in the range. We're out on the water now. We've got an island, and there's a nice gap in the foliage that runs around the island there. Now, one of the important things to point out with the bait boat is obviously you would never drive it into an unsafe situation. That's right. But what we've got, there's, a, there's an obvious gap there. The fish are obviously going to patrol around the island, yeah. but you can get in nice and tight to the island without necessarily going through the foliage itself. So we're yeah. going to send it out there, yeah. show what it can do. Now, I'm fascinated by this hook bait system, you know, where you can yeah. just retrieve the, the, or release the hook separately yeah. to the bait. We've already filled the popper up with a couple of handfuls of boiling and pellet. Show us how this bit works and then we'll get it out there. Yeah, so we're going to just attach it to the uh, the pin at the back of the bolt, hook release system. So the weight all. of the lead's going to keep that in there as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, it's not going to pop The weight out. of the leg's pulling behind the box, that's keeping that in place. And we're in. Bail arm open. The, Obviously, we've seen yeah. people make that mistake in the past. They send it out and not, not open the bail arm, and the, uh, the old rod follows after That's the boat. It. We're going to turn the handset on now, the bolt.
again, it's uh, nice and quiet, it not is, too yeah. much disturbance for the boat. I remember like the early days of bait boats, they seemed to make an absolute racket. Yeah, they, they're really, really stealthy nowadays. So just approaching the island now then, you can see like the real snaggy stuff left and right. You wouldn't put a bait in there, John, it just yeah. wouldn't be safe, would it? That's right. However, that gap gives you the perfect spot. Carp are going to patrol around that margin, aren't they, on that island? They love islands, don't they, on yeah. kind of commercial carp waters. So he's in there, nice and easy now. You can see them lights really visible, aren't they, at the back? Yeah, that's right. So the hopper's open, bait's in. Tell you what I've noticed, John, it's a good old speed to it. Yeah, it it's, is. Um, it's, uh... it's not going to take you long to get your three rods out using one of these, is it? No, no, you could, you're surprising how quickly your rods can be in and fishing. It's a nice, powerful motor. As we said, it's the medium size one, the Atom. Yeah. Uh, very accessible. It's the real all-rounder in the range, isn't it? You can it is. pretty much do anything in yeah. this UK and abroad. Yeah, perfect for a lot of different uses. It's nice, nice size, nice weight, and it holds a, a considerable amount of bait for, for the size of it. Brilliant, excellent. There you go. Seen it on the bank, seen it now on the lake. Works absolutely superbly. Wave Runner Atom. <laughs>